I joined the Army to defend our country's freedom, and yet it was that very Army that denied me my freedom. I'm Colonel Greta Kammermeyer, and this is my story. We can have an argument on our first date. Is that what this is? A date? Colonel Kimmermeyer. Have you ever engaged in immoral conduct? What do you mean by immoral? Alcohol abuse, drug abuse, homosexuality, adultery, sexual acts with a minor. I'm a lesbian. You received an adverse report based on your own statement. That I'm a lesbian. As a result, your security clearance has been pulled and your federal recognition is under consideration for withdrawal. The guard is trying to discharge me. Not the guard, the army. It's who I am. You can avoid charges if you want to resign, Colonel. No, sir. I refuse to resign. I always thought you had a lot of potential. Don't bury me yet. I can't lie about who I am. I'd rather lose my uniform than my integrity. You could commit murder and have a better chance of staying in. I'm going to sue the army. What? They want to discharge me because I told them I'm a lesbian. <laughs> There's no legitimate basis for treating gays and straights differently. Yeah, you know, this is the best thing that ever could have happened to us. Don't you think people should be judged by the work they do, not who they are? This case before you involves one of our country's oldest and most cherished traditions, a tradition that we were willing to go to war for. To let members of our armed services fight and die for, and that's a tradition and heritage of personal freedom. The Pledge of Allegiance ends with liberty and justice for all. It doesn't say, except for homosexuals. But if I have to make a choice between the army and you, I'd rather be with you. crossroads for me, whether to back down or to stand up for what I truly believe is my right as a human being. Throughout the world, the only way change can be made is by someone stepping forth and exposing themselves so that people become aware that there are differences. 
and that that's okay. So I choose to be here, to sit before you and my family, and be vulnerable in the hopes that I can be a little bit of an influence in making a change and allowing us to serve as we have done in the past and will continue to do in the future. I truly believe that you are one of the great Americans, Margaret, and I've admired you for a long time and the work you've done for the Army National Guard. I really mean that, but it's my sad duty to read what I'm going to read. Colonel Kammermeyer has proven to be a great asset to both the active and the reserve component, the medical profession as a whole. She has consistently provided superb leadership and has many outstanding accomplishments to her credit, both military and civilian. Notwithstanding, the board finds that Colonel Margareta Kammermeyer is a homosexual as defined in AR 135-175 and as evidenced by her statement to the Defense Investigative Services on 28 April 1989 and by her admission under oath to this board that she is a lesbian. We recommend that Colonel Kammermeyer's federal recognition be withdrawn and that upon her discharge from the U.S. Army Reserve National Guard, an honorable discharge certificate should be awarded. is to an infantry man. His weapon. His buddy. You can be my buddy and share my foxhole any time, Colonel. People ask, who are we? We are their daughters, their sisters, their sons, their nurses, their mechanics, their athletes. They're police. We're your doctors, your fathers, your politicians, your soldiers, your mothers, your friends. We live with you, care for you, help you, protect you, teach you, love you, and need you. All we ask is that you let us.